Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. Keep in mind that typically my readings are love readings, so we will see what comes up. <clears throat> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however it plays out. <laughs> Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this could have happened, could be happening now or in the future. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's not putting in effort. There could be some uh, competition. Okay, there's some conflicts going on. Uh, somebody could be competing for something. Five of Pentacles reversed. Um, realizing something uh it's the end of difficult coming out of the darkness of some sort the, oh, geez i'm crawling they're flipping right out somebody's getting caught the truth is coming out the truth is coming out uh, interesting beware anyway if something's going on they're going to get caught just just keep that keep that in mind the truth is going to come out about a situation Somebody has been ignoring the truth. They've been in denial. That's the basis of your reading. You may be feeling like you're going through some sort of midlife crisis. You don't want to be alone. Um, you have this fear of growing old alone. There could be some incompatibility. Maybe the truth comes out that you're not compatible with another person. Maybe somebody tells you how they truly feel. I'm not sure what the story is. We're going to get some more here. Um, interesting. Let me get this zoomed in for you. Oh, in the past, somebody wasn't putting in effort. Okay, they weren't. They weren't putting in effort. And I think that that's in the past and in the past you may have felt like this you were you were going you were having some power struggles with this person whoever it was somebody in the past there was a lot of struggles there's a lot of conflict and it was like there was a lot of back and forth like you were playing games with this person you might have felt like you were on a roller coaster with another person and right now you're probably getting out of this difficulty you're deciding to make a change okay that five of pentacles it's like no I, I i need to let this end so it feels like you guys are coming out of this difficult period in which there was some power struggles and it feels as though right around the corner some truth is going to come out okay something is absolutely going to come out um it's going, it's going to be a reveal and i think your challenge is i mean this is your challenge position in the challenge position we have the two of cups reversed you're, you could be in a partnership where there's there's just incompatibility, there's disharmony, there's disconnection, there's imbalance. There's been some arguments perhaps and you may be wanting to break up and or you have broken up or you're going to break up because, I mean, that's your challenge. There's a probably, the challenge is, is, is a partnership that you're in. It's been a challenge for you. There's been some competition, there's been some conflicts. And it feels as though right now you just want to get out. I don't want this competition. I don't want this these these problems anymore in this relationship. So I feel like there is going to be some sort of truth that comes out in regards to a partnership. The basis of your reading is this two of swords. You have to make a decision. You have to make a choice. You have two paths, okay? Right now you're sitting on the fence. You have to make a difficult, painful, stressful decision. And it feels right now like you have to face your fears and you're probably caught in the middle of two people and you are avoiding the truth. You're probably blocking your emotions because this is, this is heavy. It is heavy when you have to make a decision in regards to a relationship. I feel like you are probably blocking the truth even though you know the truth and the truth is going to come out. The basis of your reading is ignoring the truth, avoiding the truth this week. But in this other person that you're dealing with, with, at least one of them, you may be dealing with two people, just saying, but this other person thinks that you're going through some sort of midlife crisis. They think that at this point um, you are... 
you don't even know what you're thinking. You know, they think that... You're not in your right mind, you know what I mean? They think that you're confused. They're, you know, that's what they think. They think that, you know, you don't know what the hell you want. That's how the other person sees you. Your advice, this is advice, okay, is to work together. Work together with somebody. This is about teamwork. This is about communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Communicate your true feelings. Stop blocking your true feelings. You need to. If you are, if you want to end this difficult time in your life, you're going to have to communicate. And you're probably going to have to make some compromises too. Okay? So, I feel as though... Um, right now... You have to step out. You need to step out of your head. You need to step outside of your comfort zone and allow your true feelings to be revealed. And I know that's not easy. It's really not. It's not easy. But many of you are trapped. You're trapped in your thoughts in regards to this partnership that looks to me be very challenging. I think you're in a challenging partnership that um, where there's a lot of there's a lot of petty arguments. There's incompatibility. And you're, you're denying it. And it feels as though right now you you are really stuck. You're stuck in your head in regards to, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable here. It's safe here. Um, but I'm not happy here because I don't see any happiness here at all. None. There's no happiness here. The, the outcome is the Knight of Swords reversed. This is um, fear. I mean, the Knight of Swords upright is no fear. The Knight of Swords reversed has fear and they act out of fear so there could be some animosity there could be some arguments there could be some harsh words said out of fear because you know that's what happens when you hold things in I feel as though um, at this point there's there's really no resolution without communication so I feel like this is a week of, of really stepping outside of your comfort zone to reveal the truth and it, the truth is going to come out whether this person pokes you to the point of revealing the truth or you decide to reveal it it feels like some truth is about to reveal be revealed in regards to this unharmonious partnership whatever it is we're going to get some more cards um this person sees you as be in a midlife crisis. I want to. I want to get a um, clarifier for that. Yeah, they. They're like you don't want to be alone. You're just with me. They. Th they see that you're. You're just with them because you don't want to be alone. They see that you don't want to be alone. Somebody sees both. Both of these cards, and this is the. This is the position where, <laughs> how others see you, and I, this was a clarifier for this one. Somebody is looking, whoever's looking in is seeing that the only reason you're in this partnership is because you don't want to be alone. That's how other people see you. you. You're not, you can't be, you don't want to be alone. I don't want to grow old alone, so I will sacrifice my happiness so that I don't have to grow old alone. So I want to know about this right here, the challenge. What about this two of cups reversed? There's no, there's no forward movement here, Okay. This is, there's, there's too much opposition. There's too much, um, something's missing. Okay, something's missing in this relationship. It's like you've lost your direction. There's a, there's a, there's no momentum. There's no forward movement. There's no success. There's no victory. You know, you're dealing with a situation that is pretty much, uh, stalled. I mean, it's completely stalled. It's, it's dead. It's like the battery's died. The car ain't moving. It's, it's done. I want to get a pair of, uh, this Knight of Swords reversed in the outcome position. Ah, oh, temptation. We have Capricorn here. Okay, Scorpio. So it feels as though there's no forward movement because I think that you are tied to another person. The devil is the chains that bind. Okay, I feel like you are tied to another person. Therefore, you are unable to be truthful and honest and um, and 
Yeah, this person is better suited for you. Oh my God. So anyway, I feel as though you, you are unable to move move forward effectively with whoever. The, you have a choice between two people, put it that way. And you are unable to move forward towards love because there's no love here with and t because you are you are divinely connected to another person could be a capricorn could be any sign um that you are very well suited for this is a suitor this is a suitor that you are very well suited for somebody that is better suited for you and i feel like this is where your excitement lies this is the path that you would like to take therefore you can't really move forward with with this other person so I think that you've been in denial for quite some time and I'm sorry I'm sorry that this is what it is or you may not have been in denial you've just maybe you've just been stuck and unable to move forward but I do feel that there are desires that are not being met in this certain dynamic there are because this is a card of desires and therefore you are tempted to go down a new path I mean that's what it is you're tempted to go down a new path you're just you have this passion that is undeniable for another person in which you can't let it go. You can't let it go. So, that's interesting. Um, the future. This is your future position right here. The future. This is the outcome. The outcome is this person down here. It's about, you know, um, succumbing to your desires and your temptations and going down that path perhaps even communicating or you know this page of wands is um oh, i'm sorry my mind has been going blank all day is is finding the confidence and the courage to follow your heart follow your passion you know th there's a, there's an opportunity for that dares you to take action, okay? Yeah, future destiny. Your future is destiny. Your future is destined to be with, I think, this person right here, okay? There's destiny here. I feel as though, and this person can be any sign, just saying, this this energy, this person. You are tied to another person divinely, okay, the devil card. This is a karmic tie, that's divine, it is, it is. There's a karmic tie between you and this person that is undeniable. It's like it hasn't been broken yet, it hasn't. It's like you're destined, karma and destiny, you are destined to be with this person. I don't know who it is. This Wheel of Fortune is a new chapter. It's when you start this new chapter. You have a change of course in the future. As soon as you step outside of your comfort zone, you have a change of course. Whatever is happening right now is leading you closer to your life's purpose. This was a lesson that needed to be learned. You probably have been going through some sort of conflicts, power struggles with another person. You've been in denial because you don't want to be alone. I think you've probably been with perhaps somebody that, you know, just so you don't have to be alone. But it looks like that there's no victory and success there. And that's why the wheel is spinning in the future. It looks like there is going to be a change of course. And this is going to be a lucky break. And it's going to be very exciting. It's going to open up new doors for you and lead you towards your heart's desire. So I feel like this is a week of some truth coming out in regards to a partnership that you aren't happy in. Because your de wheel is spinning. Your destiny is elsewhere. That's what it looks like to me. So that's what it looks like, uh, Scorpio. It looks like, you know, you are stuck in a situation in which you don't really want to be in, but it's safe and you're comfortable or you're not comfortable, but, you know, you're pretending you're comfortable. And, the, and in the future, you're probably going to have to free yourself from this trap and step outside of your comfort zone and into your destiny. Okay, so... I feel as though with this devil card, there is some sort of desires that are pulling you in this new direction. So that's what I see. I feel like the situation that you're in right now is um, the battery's dead. The battery's dead. And you're in denial over it. I mean... The Two of Cups or the Chariot Reverse, those are, that's, the, that's clarifying. There's a relationship that is 
not going anywhere. There's no victory and success. And the truth is going to be revealed sooner or later. The, around the corner. This is around the corner. The truth, the, the, the truth is going to be revealed sooner or later. Because you can only ignore the truth for so long. That's the basis. You're ignoring the truth right now. Okay? So, you know... Whatever is meant to be is meant to be, and it feels like right now you're you're probably with somebody just because you don't want to be alone, but the fact of the matter is somebody else is in your heart, in your mind, and you are divinely connected to them. That's what I see. Talk to you later. So what's your advice for this week? We might as well do that one. Wait, the advice is to communicate and stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. There you go. Talk to you later. It's time to turn your back on the wrong thing so that the right thing can come to fruition. Talk to you later.